I want a high value man and that's what I'm looking for as a female. Okay. I feel, you know, I'm building myself for that type of man, but the type of men that I meet, um Why do you want a high value man? Because who I feel um I deserve that. You don't deserve anything. Oh, okay. Who are you? Um Simone. Simone deserves nothing. No Why? one in this world is. Excuse me. What Why? makes you so special? Do you deserve access to somebody else's stuff? Um, nothing really makes me special. To deserve access to anybody's thing, but my own. Thank you. So you don't deserve a high value man. You don't deserve. Nobody deserves anything. We earn. You really need to get out. Put my stuff back in the closet. You need to get out. Put real. my stuff back. I can't. What's going on, guys? Shack Clips here once again. And today, I see some crazy clips of the worst cheaters I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is pretty insane. This woman decided to cheat during a funeral. At a funeral. Whoa! <laughs> Whose funeral was it? My ex boyfriend. What the? 304 activities, man. Like. That's a whole different tier of 304 ness. You hear me? That that that's Optimus Prime level 30. You feel me? 304 ness. You hear me? Fix my collar. I got that bacon. That you feel me? You know what? Forget it. Forget it. We still gonna get into it. And let's keep it going. Did you? Of course, on his grave. So not only did she do this on the day of his funeral, but also on top of it. In my opinion, she's probably the one who killed him. Oh, hey, beautiful, you fine. You said what? Hold on, hold on. I'm not worried about you, bro. Hold on. That's my girl for bro. You said what? Same That's your you, girl? Yeah. I don't care, bro. What's your name? Blue. You said blue? You know what I'm saying? Nice to meet you. You know what I'm saying? So you ready? Yeah, we should do it. That's crazy. Man, I did not expect that. Now, if that situation is real which i think is scripted that's probably the best way to handle a situation like that he literally like oh you want her i bet i'm out of here that quick no argument no nothing just all right bet i'm out of here i ain't got time for that yeah what you doing yeah i can't just like talk to her about you want him yeah i'm saying Bye. you see how he just what hey i'm out of here the fact that some women like this really exist terrifies me deep down. You can invest so much time, energy, and love into someone just for someone else to really swoop in and take her away from you. But this guy did the right thing. He understood his value and left immediately. What's the biggest lie that you've ever told? The body count. Did you lie about it being smaller than what it really is or bigger than what it really is? I've lied about it being like a lot smaller than it was, which I feel like a lot of girls do. Okay. So how much smaller did you lie? Like I'd say with my last ex, I told him my body count was around like seven. Okay, so definitely low. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, in reality, it's probably like 700. And... <gasps> Would yeah. you consider 700 a lot for you? No. I feel like it's pretty reasonable. Okay, you know, it's a long line. Now, I usually say when a woman tells you her body count, just multiply it by three and then you'll get the more accurate number. But you probably have to multiply it by 20 to get this woman's accurate number. I personally don't even know 700 people. I don't know how this even happened. Hey! Hey! What you smiling about? What you mean? What am I smiling about? Yeah, what you smiling about? I just walked you up on you. I just caught you. Who, and you with my homie, bro? That's crazy, Jordan. Nah, bro, that's that's crazy. But she's in between your legs, bro. What you talking about, bro? What is you? I love how they try to normalize it, making it seem like they're just chilling and hanging out. Bro, how you gonna say yo? That's the only thing. That's the only thing um, can come to his head was we just chilling with his girl, his friend's girl, in between his legs, bro. Some of these dudes some bozos, bro. Like, you can't even trust dudes. That's what, bro. That's why I only got like a couple, uh, small amount of friends, bro. Cause dudes out here, bro, like shady, bro. But I'm sorry, no one's buying that BS. It's super obvious when someone's <clears throat> cheating and someone's trying to hide something from you. Because if I was good enough, you wouldn't be with three, four, five other guys. I should be able to date whoever I want. That's how people get diseases. <laughs> what is funny? Like, for you gonna laugh at me now? You don't take me serious. You don't take me serious. Like, that's nasty. You are the only girl that I'm with. Listen to you. 
What? I sound like a man who loves somebody. I love you. Just a day. Just a day. You're not supposed to be. Bro. Why are you arguing with her? Well, when you see these type of activities, you just leave. A 304 gonna be a 304 no matter what, man. Stop trying to change them. Y'all sitting up here arguing with them. When you, when you see them doing what they do, they in their element. When you see a lion in the wild, going after his prey, going going crazy, you feel me? Or you see a, when, 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 when these people, they go bring lions in the house and try to make them house pets, and then they go to their element, now we surprised. You feel me? So we, once you see a 304 doing these things, they're in their element. Don't argue. That's just who they are. Best thing you can do is remove yourself from the situation, man. Walk down that hallway. It's a day. How can you go on a date with somebody else if you're dating me? Easy. Do I just go? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm dating you. I'm dating him. I'm dating Bob. I mean, I'm dating. <laughs> What? My mom told me about you, man. And I tried to tell her that you was not that type. You know, the fact that she's gaslighting and making it seem like he's the crazy one in this situation is insane. She's either trying to run all of these men's pockets or she's a 304 trying to have as much fun as possible. But regardless, one thing is for certain, this girl is not wifey. And I would have left immediately. There's no way I'm staying in this. You date a girl with the Medium. fans thing? Like, like an old yeah. type thing? Probably not. No? Probably not. No? Why? No, probably not. It's absolutely not. We don't date no OF 304s over here. Even we kings over here, man. And if I found out one of the, you feel me, 200 family members doing that, you, you can't be in a, in a 300 family no more. You feel me? But we kings over here. You hear me? Well, I, I just think it would probably be something that's a little more transparent as the relationship would go yeah, i'm gonna okay. keep the video going but man hey i need y'all to join that membership man because youtube like to uh chop us up a little bit when it comes to the page on some of our videos but if y'all join that membership it'll help me out a lot man because y'all know this is my dream i'm trying to make this thing full time but hey five dollars a month man y'all blow that at dollar tree you, you won't even realize that leaving your bank account but hey the first member i'm gonna do something crazy for y'all i don't know what i'm gonna do yet yeah, it's gonna be something crazy though probably send you out here probably send some money i don't know but it's gonna be something crazy for you uh first 100 members going on my wall of fame and my man cave you'll always be remembered 100 percent bro but hey 20 family let's get back into the video man it's like where the status would be like if yeah. i would do somebody would it be somebody that would be like making it public? Yeah. I'm not really that type of person who makes like okay. to make relationship public. Okay. Like to keep it on the down low. Yeah. Type thing. yeah. Okay, so maybe a little embarrassed of it. Uh, I went slow. <laughs> I, I, I need to be private. Let's just put yeah. it that way. Part of being in a healthy relationship is the fact that you guys are excluded to one another. Everything of you is hers and everything of her is yours. But if she's showing herself off online for $5, she is for the world and not for you. Yeah. We've just decided on our new ick that we've discovered today. Okay. Should I say it? Yeah. We're just talking and you know what is like a massive ick is when... A boy has like a story of him wearing like a really nice jumper and you're like, oh, okay, like, that's a great jumper. And then you start concept. scrolling down the Instagram. And you're like, oh, you love that jumper. You bought it in a picture <laughs> as well. Oh. Another you picture. You also bought it three weeks ago. Oh. You oh. Oh, you also bought it two years ago. I mean, it's good to produce, reuse, recycle, but <laughs> this is my new jumper and I don't think it H&M, all. H&M, Zara, whatever. Like, it, it's a bit much, but anyway. I don't know whether that's a bit controversial, but it's what it is. That's our new way. You know what's also a huge massive ick? When girls really come together thinking about- I ain't gonna about lie, I turned out their whole conversation. It was, I just felt like it was so pointless. Like, I don't even know what they said. Y'all gonna have to tell them in the comments what, what they said, because I just tuned it out. Sometimes when people start saying stupid stuff, I just like somehow my brain don't, it don't let, my ears don't let it go into my head for some reason. I don't know what's a crazy ick and then post it on tiktok with a face full of makeup by the way these girls definitely don't look like that in the morning get out of here yeah. man can't you stop doing that shit why why do you want to keep doing dumb ass shit bro why? you just don't want your wife to see bro i real shit stop bro bro turn the f camera off ah, bro. Stop no. with you, bro. you don't want your wife I'm, to see bro it. get out the car please you're get married. out the car, please. I gotta get the car because you're married. I gotta get the car because you're married. Listen, turn your 
Don't you tell your fucking phone on. Gotta be quicker than that. Gotta be quicker than that. Get out, bro. Get out. Get out. Okay. Get out. I'm gonna get out, but I'm gonna take my phone with me. Get out the car, bro. I'm gonna take my phone with me. Get out the car, bro. <laughs> Sorry, but just because it's a dude this time cheating doesn't make it okay. This guy is also for the streets. And I don't blame her for trying to blast him on social media. Every yeah, cheating I don't is support cheating. No, no way, no how. The reason is because I'm like, if you're going to cheat, just don't get in a relationship. Don't commit to nobody. Don't lie to nobody. Just don't get in a relationship. You feel me? That's just me and my morals. You feel me? When I didn't want to commit to a woman, I had multiple women, but I wasn't committed to nobody. So. But now I advocate for, like, you know, with my beliefs, believing in God and all of that. Jesus Christ. You know, that, bro, I don't advocate for cheat. In no type of way, lying in no type of way. None of that type of stuff, bro. Exposed no matter what gender. The shitty ass eyebrows for me. Dude, your boyfriend died in a car accident. Dude, like, why the fuck would you say that? Like, because you keep on picking on me like I'm over Okay, it. but it's not good to mention him. Like, he fucking died. Do you understand that? That's not a joke, <laughs> Alyssa. Well, probably she really came for her heart, bro. <laughs> she really got tired of her picking on her for real. Get away from you. I swear. Like, that's how fucking annoying you're getting, Stephanie. Like, you are fucking getting on my nerves. You know what? Our friendship is so fucking toxic. Okay, well, I don't want to be your friend any fucking way. So... Yeah, deep down, I was actually thinking why I don't have any female friends, and I guess this video really summed it up for me. I am almost certain now I will never have female friends due to this reason. It seems so chaotic. When people make their sport their whole personality, you know what I mean? Like, it's all they'll talk about, all they'll post about, and somehow bring it into every conversation, like... You absolutely gotta love the TikTok community sometimes. They're so quick with exposing hypocrites, it's hilarious. Goes to my parents for Thanksgiving I once. You. I wanted your back, I did everything. Billy didn't want to marry me though. Billy didn't want to marry me though. Didn't want to marry me. Though. Why? Let's go there. Let's go with the marriage. Why? You know, in the beginning, I was actually on the woman's side until I heard the full story. And I guess this is why you actually need to hear both sides of the story. She would have never. I would have never married her if he sucked somebody else. You hear me? That would have never happened. Man, we don't do that over here. We don't do that over here. You feel me? Because at the end, this guy definitely exposed her. It was a woman. I didn't. Yes. It was a woman. That's yep. why. It, that's why it's not cheating, and yes. I'm insecure because of that. Yes, man. Look, are you serious? First of all, why she recording him? That shows you how not serious she is and how not serious she take him. I just forgot her phone. And then she laughing with it. You feel me? She laughing and stuff, giggling and chuckling. You feel what I'm saying? Now, bro, you going ballistic, putting all my stuff by the door? Because you think this like, is a game. Like, what's wrong with you? You think this is really a game. I can't believe you. I a game? Believe. I can't. You, you you really need to get out. Put my stuff back in the closet. You need to get out. For Put real. my stuff back. I can't believe that you think. This and I can't believe that cheating. you're doing all of this. And you calling me insecure. Yeah, insecure. And the fact insecure. that you're shows me that you have no remorse and no respect for me at all. None at all. No, I want you to see how you look. Because doing the most. Because I had a little too much to drink and had oh, a little true. fun with a friend. There is three things going wrong in this video. Number one, she is gaslighting this guy heavy, saying he needs to man up, making it sound like he's the crazy one. Second, number two, crazy. she is disrespecting him blatantly and she doesn't even care about it. And lastly, <coughs> third, she is trying to make up for her cheating by saying she was just drinking a little bit too much and she was drunk. No matter if it's a guy, girl, inanimate object, whatever you say, cheating is cheating. And this girl belongs to the streets. She's, She's got the absolute to the right thing, putting his foot down and kicking her the hell out of the house. Excuse me, uh, I'm doing a survey. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. Yeah, it's fine. Great. Um, if you were approached in the street by a robber, do you think you'd be able to defend yourself? No. Good. Give me your money. No. You got it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <clears throat> Babe, come on, sign like that. Come on, stop. Get out of the way. No. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Why why is she in the closet? Because why are you in the closet? <laughs> 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 why why do you have my purse on? 
just gave it to me. Now, I really wish there was more to this clip because it just seems so strange. But if I'm understanding this correctly, she took her man and also her purse. <laughs> What's the fastest car you've been in before this? I was in a Rari. But that does wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content like this, please click the videos you guys. Hey. If y'all like that video, man, leave a comment, man. Tell me what y'all think about the video in the comments, man. But hey, see you guys next video. And be safe out there, Kings. Let's get it.